Okay everyone, uh, today we're going to look at something called the Zorro method. It's got a strange name and the reason why it's got a strange name is we're really looking at this Z or Z right here and uh, a Z is important or a Z however you like to say that. So it helps us solve this. Remember in the last uh, in the last lesson, we saw 6 over 5 is equal to x over 20. Here is a quick way to solve a situation like this. Wherever you have three numbers that you know, and you don't know one thing. And that x could be here, 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 or here. It doesn't really matter. What you do is you always start with the part that you don't know. And start drawing what looks like a z. This is like a backwards z. Go across, diagonal, and across. So, you're going along here and you meet the 6. What you do is you go 6 times 20. Notice that times, the symbol for times is like an x. So it's 6 times 20 and it goes across to the 5 and the across part almost looks like a division sign. So you go 6 times 20 divided by 5. And if you had a calculator, you would just go, hmm, x is 6 times 20, well, I know that is 120 divided by 5. You would go on your calculator, 120 divided by 5, and you would get your answer. It would be that quick. Let's try another question. Remember this one? This had to do with the skateboard ramp? Well, we're now going to be able to figure the base of the skateboard ramp. Remember, here's the rules. Think, think about it as you remember. You start at the part you don't know. You go across, you go diagonal, and then you go across again. Notice it looks like a Z. Okay, the first two numbers you meet, 3 and 4.5, multiply them. 3 times 4.5, then divide by 2. So on your calculator, if you had one, you would go 3 times 4.5, you would get an answer, and then you would divide by 2. Or you can write it this way, 3 times 4.5 divided by 2. If you wanted to write it that way, that's, that's cool. All right, and your calculator will spit out the right answer. Pretty easy, eh? Let's try another one, just to make sure you're getting this. All right, again, start at the part you don't know, Go across, diagonal, and across. You're going to go 4 times 18, then divide by 3. Okay, so x is going to be 4 times 18, and then divide by 3. I hope you know that this line here really means divide. Okay, and uh, you can always pause and do it on your uh, do it on your calculator, and uh, I'm going to look at two more questions. The only reason why I'm going to look at more is, uh, is the X sometimes shows up in different spots. Okay, so tell me what to do. I'm listening. Yes, good. Okay, you're telling me to go diagonally down. Great, you're telling me to go across. Good. What do I do with these numbers now? Well, I hear you saying take the 30, times it by 300, And then divide by what? Yes, you're right, 600. Then you would have your answer. I don't have a calculator with me, so I'm just uh, telling you how to do this. Let's do two last questions. Notice the X is in different spots than they were before. Just wanted to show you. What do you do here? Well, keep following the same rules. Start at the part you don't know, go across, diagonal, then across. What do we do with these first two numbers that we meet along the way? That's right. Actually, I know what 4 times 5 is. 4 times 5 is 20. And that's over 10. Divide by 10. Multiply the first two, divide by the last number. In fact, since this is nice and easy, we can see that the answer is 2. Yay, the x is 2. Okay, last one. Start at the part you don't know, go across, diagonal, and across. You're going to go 7 times 18. 
and you're going to divide by the very last number on the end of the line here, that's a 13. And you will have your answer. Okay, that's all we need to know for now.